Welcome to today's episode of the Mindset Mentor Podcast. I'm your host, Rob Dial. If you have not yet done so, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another podcast episode. And if you're out there and you love this podcast, please give us a rating and review however you listen to us. If you would do that, it would help us grow and it would help other people discover us as well. And I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Today, we're gonna be talking about how to make money online in 2023. And first thing I'll say is I have nothing to sell you. So there's a lot of people that teach how to make money online and then they want to try to sell you something. I'm not going to try to sell you anything today. What I'm going to hopefully do is inspire you to find a way to make money online if that's something that you want to do. And the reason why is because I did this episode about 18 months ago, something similar to it. And uh, I got, you know, I put it out into the world just hoping that people would go and maybe it would inspire them to start making their own money. If they don't like their job, maybe they would be opened up to the fact of, oh man, I could, I could grow my own thing. And I got a message uh, about two months ago from a lady and um, she, I'm going to actually read you the message. She heard the episode 18 months ago and built a seven figure business from it. And so the message I got on Instagram from her was, hey, Rob, I'm unsure if you'll see this, but it's marked one year since I listened to the one episode about making money online and choosing to put in my notice at my job. Here's what's crazy. Listen to this. Since then, I've grown a seven figure business, written a best selling book, hosted sold out shows in London, LA, New York City, Toronto, and New Zealand, gotten a two page feature in Vogue, featured in Business Insider, BBC, Oxford Women in Business, a slot on a national radio and weekly column in my country, New Zealand, and been paid seven figures, I'm sorry, been paid five figures to speak at events and help over 4,000 students worldwide through our course. Um, I've had children and adults stop me on the street to thank us for what we do. None of this would have happened if your episode didn't push me to believe in myself and create change that I never knew I had in me. Thank you a million times over. Pretty awesome. And so I want to inspire you where if you're out there to hear that message from someone who heard this podcast episode or one similar to it about 18 months ago and go, you know what? She built a massive business, seven figures. She's had best-selling book. She's been featured in Vogue. She's done all of these amazing things in the past year. It was one year that she sent me that message saying that she had quit her job and then one year that she had gotten to where she is. And so I get the message all of the time of how do I make money online? How do I make money online? And I think it depends on what you want to do, what inspires you, what you are interested in, because there are a million ways to make a million dollars. And so if you're out there and you don't really love your job, maybe it's okay, but maybe it doesn't feel like it's fulfilling. It doesn't feel like you're living up to your life purpose in some sort of way. I wanna give you examples from what I know, I've been you know, working in the online space now about seven years, almost eight years now. And I remember when I first started, I was searching everywhere. I was Googling it and I was Googling it, how to make money online. And all I saw, all I saw was courses that people were selling of how to make money online. I just want to inspire you to see that there's something out there. And maybe for a couple of you guys, I'll get a message in a year about you growing your seven figure business or you having a, you know, amazing Etsy store, or you growing a coaching business or whatever it is that inspires you to do. The one thing that I know about me is I want people to break out of the rat race. And I hope that you listen to this episode if you want to break out of the rat race and get inspired to actually do it. Um, the problem is that most of us, though, we were raised before the Internet was a thing. We were raised by parents who made no money on the Internet a lot of times. And so it's a paradigm shift for us. You know, I'm 36 years old and my mom was a realtor and she did property management and stuff. And so there was never like, hey, Rob, you can go out and make money online. You can grow your own business. You could you know, do anything online because online wasn't a thing until I was like 13 years old. And so I want to inspire you guys to start thinking outside of the box. And we, go, we are raising a school system that's taught us to be a worker and not a business owner. You know, if you think about what we do as children, we're told what to do, we're told that we have to sit in our seat. We're told that we have to wait till a, a bell rings until we're able to leave. We have to raise our hand and ask somebody for permission to go to the bathroom when nature calls. And so you have a time that you have to clock into school, clock in, you know, quote unquote, clock into school and a time we have to clock out of school. It's exactly like a nine to five job. It's it's developed to raise us into being workers. And so to get out of that working mindset, is a massive, massive paradigm shift. And I want you to know it might not be easy for you to grow your business if that's something that you want to do, but it will be worth it, 100%. There'll be ups, there'll be downs, there'll be a, it's a roller coaster trying to grow a business, 
But when you fast forward five years from today after starting your business and you see where it is and you see where your life is, you see where your bank account is, you see that you're able to travel and do whatever it is that you want, it's cool to be able to make money online and to be able to do that. And I want to open you up to those possibilities. For me, the way I got into it in 2012, when I first started thinking about it, I had quit my job and I was backpacking Europe for three months by myself. I was like, man, I love traveling. Like traveling is a, a massive, massive portion and part of my life and love in my life. And, and I wanted to continue to keep doing it. And to think that I only got two weeks out of an entire year to go travel and do what I wanted to was just not enough for me. And so I want to help you with this paradigm shift because we're thinking that, you know, time worked equals money earned. And it's a whole different paradigm to think I can grow my own business. I could do it on my own. I could eventually have employees. I could be able to make money while I'm not even working. And to think that way for a lot of us, for me, was a huge paradigm shift. And that's what I want to open you up to. So I'm going to give you a whole bunch of ways that I've heard people making money online. See if maybe of them interest you. You can Google it. You can figure out if there is somebody out there that has a course on it. And you can buy a course on how to start a successful e-commerce business or whatever it might be. So uh, I have friends that make money online in really weird ways. The very first person that I ever met that was like really blowing my mind, like crazy blowing my mind, is I was at a networking event. There was this guy that I was talking to. He's very, very shy and super shy. Didn't seem like he could be a business owner in any sort of way. Super shy guy, and he's telling me about how he runs Facebook ads for other people. I was like, that's kind of cool. I didn't know that was a thing. About seven years ago, eight years ago at this point almost, he's like, yeah, I make money doing this. I'm like, cool. Like, how's that going for you? How much do you make? And uh, he's like, yeah, I make I make about $700,000 a month. And I was like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you do what? You make $700,000 a month? And I looked at this guy and I was like, he's not, he doesn't seem like he's the, the leader type, the type of person that, you know, would be in front of a bunch of people. And it blew my mind to think that this guy could do that. And I looked at him and I was like, not in a bad way, but I was like, if this guy could do it, I could probably do it as well. And so ways you can make money online. One way you could do it, exactly like I just said, running other people's Facebook ads. That's a whole beast is just to learn Facebook and Instagram ads, TikTok ads, Google ads, YouTube ads. There's Tons of different ad agencies that literally just get paid to run other people's ads. They get a, a monthly charge of like, hey, it's $5,000 a month to work with me and I'll take 10% of profit. Something like that. That usually is pretty common. $8,000 $8, a month and I'll take 5% of profit, whatever it might be. And when you build up a clientele base and you're doing this and you're making them money, you're able to make a lot of money as well. So it's cool because you make money when other people make money. Uh, other ways you could do it as well. If you love writing, you could write articles. There's many people I know that write articles and they get paid based off of people seeing their articles that they create. And they put them on different places. They put them on Medium. Some people I know write for Business Insider. They write for all of these other companies that you see, Success Magazine, online, and they get paid for the ones that they, they just create one per week on all these different platforms. You can write articles if you like writing. Um, you could be a ghost writer, which means that somebody that like me, maybe has a podcast and you go up to them and you're like, hey, you have some really good content. You ever thought about self-publishing a book? I can help you write that book. If writing is something that you love doing. Uh, you can make money doing YouTube videos. I will tell you, it takes a long time till you actually get that up and running and start making real good money. But there's people online that make millions upon millions upon millions of dollars every single year by creating YouTube videos. And the way you get paid off of that is if you've ever gone to YouTube and you've seen an ad, well, usually what happens is YouTube will take like 45% of that ad revenue and 55% of it will be given to the person who created it. So it's the same thing as like, if you watch ESPN, ESPN gets paid off of the ads that are showed on it, right? What's cool is if you create YouTube, you will actually get paid off of the people who see the ads on your YouTube videos. There's uh, coaching. If you guys have followed me for a long time, you know that my business is, I teach coaches how to grow coaching businesses online. So fitness coach, wellness coach, mindset coach, um, I mean, birthing coach, divorce coaches, relationship coach. I mean, there's every type of coach. If it's, an, uh, it's a certain applied knowledge that somebody else wants to learn from somebody. That's what we teach people how to do. Won't dive into it. If you're interested in learning more from me, you can just DM me on Instagram. It's at Rob Dial Jr. R-O-B-D-I-A-L-J-R. There's also, you could start your own Shopify store. You can start your own Shopify store and um, be able to grow a business that way. I know people that have Etsy stores. I know people that are love creating uh, clothing 
and they create clothing. I know people who have vintage clothing where they'll go to actual, actually go to, um, what's it called? Like Goodwill. And they'll actually find vintage clothing that they know people want to buy. They'll buy it for like two or three dollars. They'll put it online for like 40, 50 bucks and they make a massive profit off it if anybody buys it. Um, there's, uh, you know, sponsorships. If uh, you create reels on Instagram and you, you apply for it and you're able to do it, they'll actually pay you for putting up reels and the amount of viewers that you get. So they'll do, they do that on Instagram. They do that on Facebook. They do that on TikTok now. They do it on YouTube. Um, you could run a clothing brand. I have a friend who uh, has a clothing brand. And he just sold it for in the hundreds of millions of dollars and uh, started it like six years ago. And so you could run a clothing brand if that's something that you're, if you're interested in style. Uh, I know people who have makeup companies where they make, you know, not makeup companies, they eventually have developed their own makeup company, but they literally put on makeup for other women to see. And they say, hey, this is, this makeup's from Sephora. You could go ahead and, and buy this and use my link and you get, you know, 10% off, whatever it is. And so they get, they, they're a makeup influencer. They have an Instagram following, a TikTok following, a YouTube following, and they make money doing it that way. Uh, you can make money selling courses if there's a certain applied knowledge that you have of, hey, this is exactly what I teach people how to do. Like we have somebody who went through our course, our, our coaching that that coaches, he owns a refrigeration company and he teaches other people in refrigeration companies how to grow those companies, you know? And the cool thing is in first 12 weeks, made like over a hundred thousand dollars doing it. And so there's so many different ways to do it. There's affiliate marketing where if you can figure out a way to get a lot of eyeballs, you can help other people sell their products if you believe in their products. So that's affiliate marketing where, you know, maybe you have a following around, I don't know, let me think, a following around fitness, right? And you, you just, you've been putting up fitness videos and you're getting fitness people and fitness people. You could either sell them a course that you create, or if you know somebody who has a really good course and you don't want to create it, you could drive those people to that person's course if you believe in it and get paid a commission for every single person that you send to them that they buy. Uh, you could get paid podcasting. I'm going to tell you it takes a long time. I didn't make any money off my podcast for about five years. But at this point in time, the amount of revenue that comes in is very, very substantial with the size of the podcast now. So maybe podcasting is something that you're interested in. That's a little bit of a long runway. Uh, some of these are a long runway. But if you're like, hey, this is what I want to do and you work a full-time job and you're like, I want to be making full-time income in two years from this. Well, now you've got a two-year runway to actually start building up a following, building up this business, screwing it up, making up mistakes, making mistakes, all of that stuff. You could um, definitely do that. You could write emails for other people. You could get into copywriting. If maybe you want to learn how to sell through the amazing art of actually typing something out. Like I'm good at selling by talking to somebody, but I'm not good at selling by writing something out because I'm just not a good writer. I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not a good writer. I'm just not a fan of writing. I'd prefer not to do that. I'd rather talk. And so some people, I have friends that, uh, I have multiple friends that are incredible copywriters and they, they write copy, email copy to sell other people's products. And um, then both of the two people I'm thinking of actually coach other people how to become copywriters to make money doing that as well. So there's, there's that, in, uh, that example. There's selling supplements. I know people that have started massive. One of my friends sold a supplement business for $15 million and you can sell supplements. You could sell stuff on Amazon. I have another friend that literally teaches people how to make money on Amazon because he built his million, he built his business, his first Amazon business from zero to a million dollars in his first 12 months. Uh, I know somebody who makes no joke, $2.5 million a year on her course on how to teach people how to do handstands for yoga. And she teaches people and it's like a low ticket. It's like a hundred bucks, but she has tons of people who just want to learn how to get better at handstands for yoga. And she sells it like crazy. Uh, I know people that do jump roping courses, harmonica courses. Um, I know people that are, that are freelances, do freelancing on Upwork. Upwork is where you can basically be a freelancer and sell your product, your service, whatever your service is to people who need you. I've hired uh, people that do digital design through Upwork. I've hired copywriters through Upwork. I've hired people that build landing pages through Upwork. And so if you're a freelancer in some sort of way, you can go to Upwork and there's many other uh, websites you can freelance. You can put your services on there and people can actually hire you to do that. Uh, I know people that have successful businesses, make multiple six figures per year doing social media management. They actually go out to people, businesses and run their social media because the average business owner, number one, doesn't know how to run social media. Number two, doesn't care to run their social media. So you could do that. You could write Kindle books. 
I know people that write Kindle books, short Kindle books, like 30, 40 pages that are just really hardcore. Like, so if someone's like, I want to learn about neuroplasticity and they learn everything they possibly can about it. And then they write a book about it. They put on Amazon and they get paid $5 every single time somebody buys that book. Uh, I have a friend that literally makes no joke. He had an ex extremely successful, it was like an anomaly. It's not normal as the unicorn of self-publishing books. And he makes $70,000 a month off of his book that he self-published himself. He wrote it. It's a massive book. I'm not going to tell you guys the books. If you, if you heard me say it, you would know the book. And I don't want to tell you guys how much this one person specifically makes, but he makes over $70,000 $70, a month off of that. Then he also makes money. And there's so many different ways that you guys can tell. He also makes money off of selling the audiobook. And people buy the audiobook and he makes more money off the audiobook sales than he does off the actual Kindle sales. And, and so there's so many different ways. There's consulting where if you have really applied knowledge of how to be a COO and you want to teach other people how to be successful COOs, maybe a CEO would hire you to train their COO to make sure that they're really good. So there's, there's just, there's so many ways, like the way that I happen to teach, which is just a small pocket in the world, which is I teach coaches how to grow their following and monetize their followings by getting clients. Like I said, life coaches, fitness coaches, wellness coaches, and you know, some people will make a few thousand dollars a month. Some people will make 10, 20, $40,000 a month. We just had one person break the record for their first 12 weeks. And he was a, a brand new mindset coach and made $386,000 his first 12 weeks. This literally just happened. Um, last month, he ended up breaking the record. Not normal at all and not even close to normal. He was the, the, the best that we've ever had go through it out of over a thousand people, but he made $386,000 in 12 weeks. And so I, I mentioned these because I want you to understand that there, I want to open your mind to it. Cause when I first went to my, my first networking event and met people who were online, I was like, holy shit, I didn't know this. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. And I went to a networking event that was here in Austin and started meeting people. And, um, the one that I went to is one of my good friends. He's one of my good friends. Now I didn't know him from Adam back in the day. And, uh, he runs a, a, a actual networking group. That's every single month in Austin called internet marketing party. And I found it because I Googled how to make money online in Austin networking events for digital marketing in Austin. And it popped up. And um, there's also, you know, so maybe there's something in your area that's like that. There's also big conferences. There's one called Traffic and Conversion Summit, which is once a year. There's another one called Funnel Hackers Live, which is once a year. There's another one that's called Social Media Examiner, which is a summit once a year. And so there's all of these places where you can go and you can meet other people and get around them. And once you start getting around them, you start to be like, hey man, this is interesting. Maybe I could grow this business. And sometimes, I'm just going to be honest with you, there might be people who sell courses. And I think that it's worth it if, if you're trying to figure out how to start an e-commerce business and you see that there's 10 people that sell courses on how to grow an e-commerce business. Um, I know people that do it, but I'm not going to recommend anybody because I want you to go on your own path. But you could learn from somebody who's already running a multi-million dollar business versus making all the mistakes on your own. It's basically like finding an, a, a mentor through the internet. They could live in a different city. They could live in a different country and you can learn from them. And sometimes you, you got to spend money to make money. And uh, I think that it's worth spending the money and shortening your learning curve. You know, there's websites like digitalmarketer.com, social, uh, socialmediaexaminer.com, where they will open your mind to what is possible. And once you make your first dollar, it's over. It's, it's over, like it, in a good way. I remember I, when, how I made my first dollar online and I was like, this is what I want to do. And I, uh, I made $15 while I was asleep through Amazon affiliates. So I had told people on my following, like, hey, if you want to sign up for Amazon um, Kindle, if you want to, not Kindle, what was it? Uh, Audible. If you want to sign up for Audible, it's a free trial and you do a free trial. And I had mentioned it on my podcast seven years ago. And uh, I was like, hey, if you want to go to this website, it was my website that went directly through. They signed up for a free trial and I got paid $15 for that free trial through Amazon affiliates. And I was like, oh my God, I made money while I was asleep. And from there it was like, this is amazing. This is real. Holy shit. I think I can do this. And so I bring this up to you because I want you to understand that, that what we were raised in and who we were raised by, I didn't know anything about this thing of making money on the internet. And I love, it was so, 
amazing for me to get this this email, this uh, Instagram message from this lady that was explaining how she's built a seven figure business and done all these amazing things. And I wanted to make this episode so that you can know that there's many different ways to make money online. My goal is hopefully to open you up to it. And that's it. I'm just planting a seed and maybe a tree will grow from that seed, but it's going to take work. It's going to take research. It's going to take finding the right people. And I hope that for you guys, if, if finding a way to make money online is something that you want to do, is something that you do. Because there's a million ways to make money online. You just got to find what you're passionate about if that's your passion. So that's what I got for you for today. Hopefully a year from now, I get some messages on my Instagram about some more people building six and seven figure businesses after listening to this podcast. So with that, I'm going to leave the same way I leave you every single episode. Make it your mission to make somebody else's day better. I appreciate you and I hope that you have an amazing day.